Acadiana's number one for new country, 97.3. The dog, always my favorite time of year. Festival season is here in my uh, all-time favorite festival here in Lafayette. Festival's Acadiana's at Creole. And uh, Patrick Mould is here uh, once again to tell us all the fun things that are happening for this really one of Louisiana's premier events. Well, thank you for saying that, Steph. We like to think so. It's, uh, you know, it's a cultural event. I mean, uh, they're very, you know, we have a lot of festivals around here. But, uh, you know, I'd say I think Jazz Fest would probably be number one from a cultural significant with us running a close second. And, then you know, I, I refer to it as a kind of a cultural archaeological dig. It's like every, every time we think we know everything about our culture, we dig a little bit deeper and we find something else. And find something more wonderful. Yeah. And this, this festival celebrates it all. We're expecting a ton of visitors to uh, come into our area, which is really wonderful. Plus, all of us who live here uh, get to celebrate our heritage as well. So we have got uh, things kicking off on f- about that. Yeah, we got, uh, well, we have uh, Chubby Carrier and uh, Steve Raleigh and the Mama both celebrating their 30th anniversary. So we're going to have a 30th, 30, 30 for 30 anniversary celebration with those two bands. And then in between, from 645 to 715, we're having a UL homecoming party. We have the football team, the coach, the homecoming court, the band, the spirit and squad. The, and the boudin cutting, right? Oh, and we do the boudin cutting at 5 yeah. o'clock. So, yeah, it officially kicks off at 5 when we do the cutting of the boudin. And then the first band will start at about 5.30 or 5.30 And all of this so. at Gerard Park. At Gerard Park. Right. And we're also, uh, you know, we have other activities going on uh, on Thursday. We have a, a symposium on this year's archaeological dig discovery, the the, the lyrical leg- legacy of Cesar Vincent. Awesome. Who is an old French guy from Mo, Louisiana, didn't speak English, didn't have a car, rode on a horse. And wrote one of the most iconic Cajun songs of all time called Traviese Trop Deux. And it's traveled all over the world. Zachary Richard made it an international hit in Canada. Amazing, amazing. And then it went to France. And and, uh, Alpha Blonde did a reggae version. There's a Calypso version. There's a French chorus. And where is that going to be on Thursday, by the way? That's going to be the symposium. It's going to be at the A. Hayes Town Home at 8.30 starting. And it's going to go to about 1.30. And then... uh, Thursday night, we have the concert at uh, Warehouse 535, where we're going to feature some of the songs. And then we're also going to, you know, as Music City's convention is in town this week. And so we're going to feature some other genres of Lafayette music, because we really are a music city. Oh, we totally You know, a lot of folks have called us the next Austin. Yeah, right. You know, it's true. But we're celebrating our, our Creole and our, our Cajun uh, heritage, our music, our food, our culture. And uh, for folks who... Uh, want to come down to Gerard Park on Saturday. Mm-hmm. What time do the festivities kick off? 10 a.m. Festivities kick off at 10 a.m., go to around 8, and then Sunday, it's about the same thing, about 10 to, to 7.30. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a self-celebration of who we are. Oh, you know? definitely. This is how we eat, how we dr- uh, dance, how we uh, talk, how we uh, make art. Uh, so it's a, self, it's a self-celebration of how we live, and, it, and it's a good opportunity. It's almost like a big family reunion it, it really is. It's amazing how many people come year in and year out. All the bands love it because every Cajun and Zydeco band of note is in the park that weekend. So they all get to hang out together. Which they don't normally get to do. Which they don't normally right. do because they travel all, exactly. all over. Exactly. And then, uh, you know, all the volunteers, all the people that come. we have. And vol- we're still looking for volunteers. Yeah, yeah, we're always looking for volunteers. You know, that's the biggest, hardest part. So you can part. go to the festival website yeah. to apply for that. Right. We also have a story up at 97.3thedog.com that tells you how you can become a festival, beca- a awesome. volunteer, because that is an amazing opportunity to be part of this wonderful event. Yeah, and you get to, you know, it's amazing. People love to do it because they get to meet other people from other parts of the country, like one year we did when we did an economic impact study, we had 12 different countries represented from not That's just France and amazing. Canada and Haiti, but I'm talking about Ireland and Switzerland and Sweden and, you know, and then uh, 38% of our audience tra- travels a distance of 500 miles or more to get to us. Uh, and we're Which about, we love. Yeah, and we're about a $15, $15 million economic impact on the city of Lafayette 
in a 24-hour span. Which is incredible. Now, we've got a couple of changes this year, one being the parking situation. Yeah. No, no shuttle from Cajun Field because nope. there is uh, homecoming. But there is parking available around Girard Park. Some of it paid, some mm, of it free. free. So make sure you bring your money just in case you're getting in one of credit the paid card parking. Credit for parking. You have to have a credit card. At That's UL. amazing. Um, UL has been really... Uh, worked well with us this year. They've opened up lots that they've never opened up. Uh, like you said, some paid, some free. And then also, you know, be mindful, but there's a lot of parking around the park uh, in all center. Right. Uh, in those sort of locations. Then we I, have the I big, have my secret spot. Ah, uh, you got your secret spot. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I love it. Se- I have my secret spot that I've had <laughs> for a very long time, and I'm not giving it up. <laughs> Uh, and so, you know, and also something we're going to post probably in the next day or so is uh, Stuart Glazer over at U, uh, UL Transportation has developed this app that will tell you what lots are full. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so you, it'll direct you. Like if you're driving to one parking lot thinking you might be able to park there, right. it'll say, no, don't drive to that lot, drive to this lot. Okay, so where can they look for that you, if it comes up? You can look for that on our Facebook page, which is Festival Zakati Anze Creole. We're also going to post it on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, that should hit the, the page probably this afternoon. That's awesome. Uh, we also have the map on the website, festivalzakatianz.com. We shows, have maps here at yeah. our office here at 1749 Bertrand mm-hmm. Drive. We've got the uh, pocket guides here with everything available. But uh, we can't thank you enough for making time to come by and say hi again because this is really, uh, it's kind of like the only time I get to see you all year long. <laughs> so I'm happy no, to have it. you here in the studio. It's our annual visit. Yes, it is. And it's a, a wonderful way to uh, reconnect with one of our favorite festivals. Love for the entire year. So, Pat, thank you so much. We'll see you this weekend at Hard Park. Well, uh, yeah, definitely. And I want to thank Town Square Media. And I'm not just blowing smoke. You guys have been amazing in, in helping us uh, promote this event. And uh, we couldn't do it without y'all.